Thank you for tuning in to Ebony Ladies in the DR. I'm your host, Bridget. Gracias por ver las damas de Ebonias en el Dere. Yo soy tu, Efrentiona, Bridget. Today's topic is all about voting. People are asking us as expats, as black Americans living in the Dominican Republic, why are you so concerned about the election? Really? That's, real, that's a real question. So the reason I'm so concerned about the election is because I plan to continue to have two passports, United States and the Dominican. And I want this one to still mean something. I still want it to have some value with, you know who in office, it won't. This will not be any good. It will be useless. So I am encouraging everyone. I know early voting has started. We're a week away from the election. Guys, if you haven't voted already, what are you waiting for? But as a black American, uh, expat living here in the Dominican Republic is so important to me because I want to be able to freely travel wherever I want to go, especially leave the island and come back to the United States. Uh, the election is important to me because I'm still an American. The election is important to me because my family lives in the United States. The election is important to me because I paid a lot of taxes to the United States. Unlike your president, I paid a lot of taxes and I deserve every bit of my social security so that's why this election is so important to me so do not do not waste your vote on a write-in candidate on an independent candidate you have two choices two choices to make in my eyes you only have one everybody knows me I'm voting blue is there a reason why the, the US passport is blue I wonder about that but this is right vote blue um, for me uh, everyone has their choices just do what's best for you but make sure don't do a write-in candidate a write-in candidate is a vote for you know who so make sure to get out and vote if there are um, elderly people in your neighborhood there are people that don't have a ride there are people who have never voted before but they are registered go with them you know make a day out of it go get some takeout go wait in line I heard the lines are really long right now um, go wait in line but do it it's so worth it your future depends on on it your future of your friends your kids your family everybody so I had some other expats that want to share their reasoning for voting because everybody think oh it's all about me and I you know I'm just sharing my point of view but let's hear what some of the other expats living here in the Dominican Republic had to say why this election is important to them hey well that was the most expensive vote that I've done cost me forty dollars to vote from here in Los Terrenas <laughs> but I think it was worth it. Uh, congratulations to Biden and Kamala Harris. I'm pretty sure I can already see the future in those results. But uh, it won't surprise me if the election turns out to be close, which is the reason why I voted, along with the fact that I do believe in honoring uh, things that people fought for in the past for me to be able to have the right to vote. I don't think that the... Uh, that the demand was ever to vote, but it was so that we could have the right to be able to vote and so that I wanted to be able to uh, participate and take, as I always do, I don't think I've never missed an election, but uh, just wanted to pay in that regards. And uh, glad and think that this one was very important because we are looking at, you know, to everybody can have their own opinion, but of course you can, but uh, in this estimation, you know, we're looking at things that are on the brink of conflict. One is we're looking at, to a degree, a bit of a racial war going on. And it's uh, it's not it's not completely one race against the other. It's a part of one race that wants to hold on to things that uh, that do not help, do not benefit, are not equal, do not provide equal opportunity for human rights for all. And there are many excuses and things that they use that those people that feel that way on that side want to use as part of an agenda to accomplish something. And I'm well aware of that as an African-American man. And I'm going to do what I can to negate that. And uh, this is just one of many things and one of many ways that I can be able to uh, fight. Another way is to get jobs and to educate others and to put actions to words. So thank you very much. Uh, pray you all the best 
and we'll see what happens on election day. Hi, I'm Kelly, and I'm excited to talk to you about why I am happy to vote, even as an expat. Um, I live outside of the United States and have for several years. I'm enjoying the benefits of living outside of the United States. The cost of living is better, food is better, health care is affordable, education for my child is very affordable. And I could say, well, I made it. I'm gone. I don't have to worry about that. But that's not how I feel. I believe the truth of the matter is that we need to be advocating even more now for those who are still in the United States to have all those same things, to have the benefit of quality health care that doesn't break you, to have the benefit of educating our children in places that are safe, that respect who they are as individuals, um, as black and brown boys and girls who support and see our value and our beauty. Um, to live in places where we feel safe and we're not harassed because of what we look like or what we believe or who we love, things like that. Um, I believe in supporting the right for all of us to advocate for the kind of life we want to live, to have fresh food that isn't tampered with by companies that want to make us sick so that they can profit us off, profit off our backs from healthcare to supposedly make us well. Um, I don't believe in a system like that. I've enjoyed the benefits of living outside of a system like that. And I think it's important to continue to vote to support those who will create systems like that in our own country. Everyone doesn't have to leave the U.S. It's not for everyone. Um, those of us who enjoy it, that's great. But there are many people at home who want to stay and who rightly feel that they've spent their you know, lifetimes and, and money and generations building up that nation and that they deserve to be able to stay there in peace and safety and health and I agree with them. So that's why I'm voting. Um, our democracy depends on it. If we want to maintain a democracy, we have to exercise the right to vote. If we abdicate and say it doesn't matter, we can't really complain. Please vote. It matters to everyone. I am exercising my right to vote this year. I'm doing a mail-in ballot. Um, I think it's very important for me to be a part of this election, as many elections that I have been a part of. But to, but this year, it is so important to me. Um, voting, not voting, has consequences. And me, I wanted to decide on the quality of life I want for myself in the future, and I want to stand up for the issues. Um, voting is my voice and I don't want to give it up. Uh, it's actually my civic duty to vote and I am going to exercise that right. Um, for me, voting this year is about the health care system um, and it's about the quality of life in the neighborhoods, in certain neighborhoods. So I will be and I have exercise my right to vote and um, go blue. Hi Bridget, hey, this is Chris. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm finally uh, arriving here in Indianapolis. Um, this is my hometown and it's so that I can vote. Of course, I could have voted um, absentee and all that, but I felt that this election um, required me to show up in person and uh, ensure that that I um, my voice was heard. So I'm here. Um, I left my beautiful island home, my beautiful beach, and everything dear to me there so that I could come home and um, cast my uh, vote. Obviously, um, I'm not voting for the current president. Um, he's been a disaster, um, and I want to do everything I can to ensure that, um, you know, we don't have that same issue for the next four years. Hola, Ebony ladies in the DR. This is Kimmy um, coming to you from Texas. Uh, my husband and I both live in the DR, but we made the decision to um travel back to the u.s so that we could vote um it's that important to us that our votes count and we did not want to take the chance on 
mailing in ballots and the ballot not getting there. Um, so we wanted to come here and physically uh, vote. So uh, we are in Texas and early voting started earlier this week. Uh, we are not in our hometown here in Texas, but we will be there tomorrow. So we will be going and getting our vote in. Um, this election is important, if not the most important election that we are a part of. And we wanted to make sure that we came here so that our voice would be counted. Um, I don't think there's any other way to stress the importance of voting, especially if you're unhappy with the candidate or the options that you have now. Um, the only way to make a change is to be able to make the change and do something about it instead of complaining all the time. So anyways, we just wanted everyone to know that uh, we are here in the States so that we can vote. I will post my pictures of my little sticker saying that I voted once that is completed tomorrow. We missed the DR, but we love the US. Thank you guys. Hey guys, Tammy Washington here. And yes, even though I live in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic, I will be voting in this upcoming election. Why? Because guys, Listen, just because you leave the country doesn't mean that you don't care about your country. Um, I moved here to be with my fiance. It was never a situation of I hate America. I never want to live in America. Nothing like that. I love my country. I care about my country. I care about the politics of my country. And so voting has always been very important to me. Um, and it will continue to be important to me. And that is why for this election, I'm actually flying home just so that I can vote. Very, very important. Uh, the last election, I was not counted because I was moving from California to Atlanta at that time. And so the mail-in ballot did not work for me. And so this time I said, I'm not taking any chances. I'm getting on a plane, I'm going home, and I am voting in my local district. And so it's very important to me and I hope it's just as important to you. As expats here in the Dominican Republic, we've tried to share with you why this election is so important to us. So think about why this election is so important to you and make sure you get out, go exercise your right to vote. The election is just around the corner, only what, a week left. So get out, do your part, be sure to make your vote count. No excuses, people. Don't forget, Ebony Ladies in the DR right here every Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Check out some of the past episodes. Share them with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'll see you after the election.